Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Michael Akahne from Duelist Project, and today I'm bringing you a wrap up of the MCM October 2015 in London. It was really exciting. Uh, I went to see, or <laughs> I went to see the event on Friday and Saturday. I unfortunately haven't gone on Sunday, even though I had a ticket to go on Sunday as well, but because of a minor injury I sustained uh, I wasn't <laughs> feeling okay to run another day with the full equipment uh, around the MCM so nevertheless the two days were impressive <laughs> to be honest I have not seen that many people uh, in long time and I tend to go to Oxford Street or near Oxford Street in London quite often but this was simply amazing and the number of cosplays yeah oh my heavens by the heavens oh my godness oh my goodness oh my goddess and everything and all and every single of them was simply amazing uh, to be honest I mean, I put up the two videos with uh, showing of the cosplays of the of the photos I took, and I mean, it would be really, really hard to pick one which is good. And plus, on Saturday, uh, there were photo shoots going outside uh, the Excel or in the surrounding areas or and in the main hall, uh, which I did not take pictures at because it was a too crowded B uh, I prefer to when I start taking pictures in one location I t t uh, tend to keep it so I was uh, because I started taking pictures in the how to call it in the event area <laughs> yeah, that's how to put it I mean that's in the shopping area maybe uh, yeah, in the actual yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing to call it. the actual game in it. Uh, no, not the game. The actual uh, event area when stuff was hap where the stuff was happening. So I was taking photos there, and to be consistent, I kind of stayed there and unfortunately missed a ton of a cosplays, an awesome cosplays which I got to see later on when I was uploading my photos and browsing through the photos from the other groups and other people and so, uh, I was really disappointed that I didn't take a photo of that particular cosplayer by myself and yeah, you know the story, you cannot get any everything and Plus on the second day, I mean, I was really tired from the crowd, so I mean, I need to b build up my stamina. Uh, but yeah, it was simply amazing, I mean, people-wise. I mean, there was a lot of interesting goodies to buy uh, at the MCM. And yeah, I mean, of course there were my favorites, so of all... I mean... <laughs> I'll try to be impartial, so I will not be naming them. Uh, I mean, my favorite stalls. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, I was what I was slightly disappointed with, or uh, that I wasn't able to make any coverage of uh, the gaming area. I mean, now I will be naming. I mean, no particular preference there. I mean, I have, but I mean, it, do it does not play a role. Namco Bandai was showing uh, the same, virtually the same stuff they were showing on Hyper Japan with uh, more spaces for Sword Art Online Lost Song and two small booths for uh, Zestiria which is already out and they were showing uh, Naruto, sh Naruto and uh, Adventure Time uh, so I've done already coverage for uh, Zestiria and Lost Song on Hyper Japan so there was nothing to do for me in these uh, okay there were a couple games uh, I was thinking of doing uh, Eden Star, 
Uh, but then again, uh, when I looked it up on a Steam, I thought this thing is not ready for me to be uh, to be doing coverage. And I was think when I was considering and looking at the people playing it, I do not see that it was uh, uh, in any particular state or in a state sufficient for myself to be able to do any coverage of it or to say yes this is good no this is good I'm going to be buying it or not so unfortunately that has not gone any well uh, there was one thing I uh, caught a glimpse of only uh, and it's a shame that I didn't get to play it uh, was Earth Defense Force uh, I haven't had time to research uh, research it because uh, I just couldn't find enough information about it so in the end because I could not pull up questions for the people to answer and do and do my own stuff about it so decided to not to go for it though it looked interesting to be honest so that's one thing uh, then there was the Nipponichi uh, software uh, area. <clears throat> uh, there was uh, person not dancing all night, which was uh, I've <laughs> the, uh, there were a couple uh, among the people there were uh, taking care of the stage. Uh, there were po uh, people I knew from the previous events, and you could see it was all they, they were only hyping it. I mean, there was there were, there were uh, of course there were uh, possibilities for Rita to play it, but I mean, uh, for myself, I consider Persona del Dancing All Night a slightly strange game, so no coverage there as well. Uh, what was there uh, as well? Uh, yeah, this uh, uh, I always get to mispronounce this gear, this gear, or how the hell is it pronounced? I never get it right. Uh, the fifth, uh, uh, what is that called? <laughs> Edition? No, uh, 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 story? Yeah, maybe. This guy can have five. Yeah, let's put it this way. Okay. Uh, so it's a fifth sequel. There has been a couple remakes along the line. So uh, it's the fifth major release of the series. Uh, yeah, I like those games. But uh, then again, there is uh, so much little to cover. And um, because I haven't done even the for me... Uh, it is really hard to approach. I know the story is yes and no, and yeah, the story is usually good, but I mean, it takes time to go through it. For, I mean, for me, those turn based RPG strategy games are hard to review personally or to do any commentary on uh, because. <sighs> Let's put it this way, for a visual novel review, I usually do either a full playthrough, if it's a short, uh, short one, or I do read it for, let's say, four or five hours. And then um, I can say, yeah, I'm satisfied with the amount of gaming information I have it. Uh, I can do that. Uh, for let's say Agrest, which uh, I'm planning to do for a long time now. Uh, it's about the same because it's, even there are battles, it's more of a visual novel typeish. There is a lot of dialogue going on and it takes a long time. But for Agrest series, I would say roughly uh, 12 hours of playtime. Uh, for some... I mean, sold out online, uh, Zestiria, eight hours, something like that, and I could say yes, no. Uh, it's, I mean, I'm t uh, saying it for from the once I get thing into, 
perspective. So if I were to do a full review, I would try to complete a game, which in some cases of JRPG can take months for me. Yeah, but I mean, this is a game. Uh, I don't know. I mean, there was little to cover. I mean, and there. I mean, the Nestle. Uh, I mean, they had a sales team there. I mean, but to be honest, it wasn't too much tended to. So there weren't people high <clears throat> allotted to each or have noticed them. Uh, I saw a one guy that was at one game who was specializing in it. I mean, but the others seemed the other games that they were presented there seemed to be quite unattended with the team mainly focusing on the sales so that kind of left me with a sour taste I mean they, they, the games are good but I mean not I mean not in the terms of convention coverage I mean the presentation is solid so oh, I mean but there is as little you can do with it as a, as a press. I mean, as a customer, you go play it and say, "Yeah, oh, this looks co this looks good. This might be a good purchase. Let's wait a long line." Of course, there the probably the biggest star of the event was Dark Souls Three, uh, which goes completely off my games I play or something. Uh, I mean, I haven't played, I mean, I have to confess I haven't played Dark Souls 1 and 2, though I'm planning to, but then again, never got time to do that and not really particularly interested in, in the game itself. It looked appealing, but I mean, mm, not my cup of coffee, I would say, so... Yeah, the stalls, yeah, the usual convention stuff, I would say, eh, with lots uh, of uh, independent offers. I mean, compared to Hyper Japan uh, this summer, uh, they had more writers and more uh, comic artists, so which was good to see. Uh, sadly, <laughs> I wasn't able to purchase anything uh, this time round uh, and yeah so I cannot give any recommendations on the good stuff because I have just browsed through it and did not purchase anything <laughs> so which is kind of sad so I mean <laughs> yes the first the first word problems yeah we don't have enough money to fulfill our desires so uh, yeah I bought some stuff at the convention but I mean uh, because there is a Christmas uh, crawling up and uh, Mavlov is going to come uh, from Kickstarter in I think yeah in couple in couple days I think it's from the date of the recording it's about eight days or so so uh, I'm pledging quite high there <clears throat> there are other Kickstarters which I'm supporting and pre-orders. For November it's going to hurt, to be honest. So, sorry Total Biscuits, yes it's pre-orders. So, yeah. Uh, which is Tarcraft and Lost Song. And... Uh, and there was something else. As well. I mean, when I was there on Friday, I managed to uh, catch a glimpse of Yox cast, which um, I wouldn't say used to follow. I mean, I used to watch, I mean, I still watch them, but um, used to watch them <laughs> mainly something like two, three years ago. I mean, to try to keep up with them with the, uh, when they were doing the um, Jaffa Factory and stuff so now I haven't seen much stuff from them recently it, because it doesn't I mean <laughs> it doesn't need uh, meet uh, meet my needs how to put it this way 
So, I mean, I'm really pain in the butt customer. I'm really hard to please. So, yeah. But yeah, I managed to catch a glimpse of them, <laughs> and yeah, I was kind of surprised because this was my first time seeing the, seeing them live. So <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay, what there? What uh, there is left to talk about? Uh, fringe areas, food, uh, <laughs> and didn't have too much because re re uh, recently I haven't <laughs> I mean food stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't think I've uh, <laughs> eaten anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've bought uh, the dorayaki as usual because it's sweet. So just when you're running all day long, you, you're happy with some tea, water, and something sweet to keep you keep you alive. So I mean, probably why didn't I get to? eat some, let's how to put it, some heavier food was because there was no beer, so, uh, because, yeah, and, because when you, nice pint of Asahi, or <laughs> something else, or Kirin, would help down it when it's slightly greasy, something, you know, like Okonomiyaki, or Takoyaki, or something, like that, it always helps, and yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, organization-wise, I thought, yeah, organization. That's the thing that needs to be talked about a bit. Organization-wise, Friday was good, really good. They handled it really, really well. Um, <clears throat> there had, I would say, for the attendance on Friday, they had appropriate number of people uh, helping out with the event. Uh, on Saturday, uh, I just don't know, I haven't se I have seen uh, two, three security guys? Uh, yeah, two, three, yeah, three. Uh, <laughs> two in near the main area when I was coming in and when they were guiding the people of course there were more when the people were correctly collecting their tickets but i mean and then the third one was uh telling me you're not supposed to be, you sit in there sir but i mean yeah that's of course i was not because the, uh but yeah i mean of course the crowds were really nicely organized but i mean it sometimes help to helps to see that there are more you know, people trying to, I wouldn't say crowd control things, because it's a bad thing to say, but I mean, there were, I mean, I mean, it, I mean, I'm unused to crowds, to be honest. I hate dealing with crowds, so for me, it's, if there were, if the, if it was more organized, then it would be slightly better, but yeah, I mean, the free is good, but I mean, for me, yeah, it was kind of too many people in one place on Saturday, and yeah, I mean, though it did not feel as they were overselling the tickets because uh, they knew, the, I would say, they guessed the capacity well. Though, I mean, if all the people were to come from the halls into the actual area, nobody would be able to move. <clears throat> so, I mean, but because the people come for more uh, more reasons than just, I mean, uh, shopping, seeing the actual event, I mean, they're there to meet with the press people and other, <laughs> other professionals to, let's say, with a cosplayer to get their photos taken and to, you know, to get into magazines and stuff and everything. Uh, yeah, I mean, of course they go and to see if there is something to buy, but I mean, there are people like that as well, so, which do, I mean, I might be overgeneralizing, just like saying really bad things now, 
But I mean, they're just there for the social gathering. They're not for the stuff at the convention. I mean, they're just to socialize, which is cute. So, yeah, but I mean, there is so much people you can fit in to that. And Excel is, I think it's the biggest one we have in London. I mean, there is, <laughs> I don't think there is anything biggest than, uh, bigger than Excel available in London. Or maybe in a whole of... I mean, he could probably, if he wanted... Yeah, I'm thinking, if he would uh, rent out a part of Heathrow Airport, <laughs> this is probably the <laughs> only place with big enough to do that. So, one of the hangars or something. So, yeah. Okay, I mean... I, you heard my oral thoughts. So, I would say, yeah, it was pretty solid, pretty nice experience, I mean, the crowds, I mean, of course it tired me and the fatigue, I mean, just ended up, I mean, me, me twisting my ankle, so, which made it sadly impossible to do uh, a Sunday coverage as well, or to run around on Sunday as well. So, which leaves me slightly sad, but I mean, it cannot be helped, it's always something. So, and yeah, I mean, I'm, I mean, highly likely to, to attend the next one. I mean, uh, this was uh, me uh, being a first timer on MCM, because, <laughs> I mean, as it always went, I was not in London for MCM and did not want to go to Manchester, Scotland or there is I think one in Birmingham or I know there is Scotland and Manchester and London. Those three I'm totally sure of and I think there might be a fourth one but I'm not sure, I cannot remember. Uh, yeah, I mean I'm be coming to uh, hopefully in 2016 in I'll be coming to both uh, MCMs in London maybe a Manchester one as well, maybe, or the Scotland one, depending. Uh, I mean, I need to uh, get some people from the group uh, organized, and uh, I got a couple friends in Scotland, so we might decide to go for the Scotland one as well, or just to go around and it's to take it on less serious note so yeah but I mean I will definitely be trying to uh, to go for uh, <laughs> the London ones so I mean I have it I have put it in the plans in my planning diary so <laughs> to uh, keep uh, two days of my annual leave for the MCM, so yeah, hopefully it will be, it will be awesome, I mean, more awesome than this one, uh, well, it was pretty good, I mean, but given the things that I have already done the coverage of on the Hyper Japan, it slightly did not meet my expectations, but that's, that's okay, that's okay, so, yeah, as I have said, uh, on already a couple times, uh, during this video, I have uh, I'm really hard to please. Just like uh, the people who work with me know know that pr pretty well. So yeah, I mean, thank you. Thank I would use this opportunity to thank uh, the staff of the MCM, the organizers for holding the event and doing the stuff. And I would thank all attendees for showing up and I would, the most special thanks is to the people I have taken pictures of. Thank you, thank you very much for the photos. I have really taken a great deal uh, of photos. I think I uploaded this time round, I uploaded over uh, 300 photos. So that means over 150 different cosplayers. Uh, so that thing is simply awesome so and I hope I'll be able to meet you in 
I had a next upcoming event which uh, I'm going which is Hyper Japan Christmas and if not then on the next MCM so okay okay thank you thank you everyone for watching and listening thank you very much and have a nice evening this has been Michael Akane from Dulles Project and this has been MCM London Comic Con wrap up thank you thank you very much for listening Ahem. <coughs>